see if we can get that steel plate. All right, today we're going to do some shooting with a uh, interim ordnance AK-47. I'm not sure what uh, year this one was. I don't know if it's an older one or a newer one. I know it's at least uh, at least five years old. And we've got some Croatian steel magazines from Palmetto State that I did a video on uh, that I had to modify. But we're going to test out the Texas Weapons System dogleg rail here. I put this rail on almost a year ago and just haven't had time to really mess with it. You can see I have the uh, rear sight installed here. I also have the rear leaf sight, but um, I like this one back here because it gives you a longer sight radius. Um, so I have this one installed. But they have an option to replace this piece here with the rear leaf sight that looks more like the traditional um, AK rear iron sight. So the way the dogleg rail works is pretty cool. Um, you push this pin out here that retains the old leaf sight and uh, replace it with this pin and clip and then you also um, replace the recoil spring uh, rod here with a uh, different unit that they supply for you and then you have your rail here. So this is how it works. It hinges on and off and the adjustment is up here in the front. So once you get it adjusted they say that you can take this thing on and off and not lose zero. Um, I just have a cheap uh, BSA red dot on here that we're going to use to test it out. Um, I had a primary arms micro dot that I thought about using, but this is what I had laying around, so we're going to use it. Uh, we're going to go up there to about 20 yards and sight in this red dot. Okay, here we are at uh, 70 yards. I'm going to put some rounds down range of this target and see where we're gonna hit We've got our inner ordnance AK-47 and a Texas weapon systems rail on top and our BSA red dot I can already see I'm gonna have to take off some metal here on the inside of the rail because getting some pretty good rubbing there we'll worry about that later Let's see if we can hit that steel plate. Okay. Let's go 
go check out <coughs> what we hit. happy with that got it sighted in but I just noticed something oh, terrible happening as I was shooting I noticed this front sight post was wiggling around every time I let off the trigger oh my gosh that's terrible there is uh, some IO quality for you right there Let's see if we can tighten it up a little bit Gosh. Yeah, I had my IO pistol 
two and a half inch barrel gun for uh, let's see maybe three weeks before I sold it so I think that is a company that will go out of business pretty soon um, once we start getting our imported AKs back in which I think is going to happen <clears throat> with Trump getting elected I think we're going to get a lot of our good AKs back so these companies that are uh, putting together these cheap AKs I think they're going to go out of business pretty quick when the high quality ones come back in for about the same price. I think the only reason places like uh, DDI and IO were, could even be in business is because the AK prices were so high, it was easy for them to make a low quality gun and still make a profit off of it. It really stinks for a lot of people that bought into these things, but um, for the most part they can be fixed. Lit up 20 more rounds and shoot the steel some more. <clears throat> so on an AK like this IO right here, the reason why you have to go with a rail like this TWS rail is because there's no side mount and uh, if there was one I would definitely prefer that but this is what we have to work with so we will make it happen Let's see if we can shoot that steel down there There we go. That's enough of that today.